Boa has been dealing with an insane hate train for a few weeks now, and it's not looking good. From people criticizing her appearance to other malicious comments, Boa has been attacked from all sides. She even hinted at the possibility of retiring after her contract with SM Entertainment expires, but this did nothing to stop the hate against her. People have been very harsh on her due to her age, since they feel like she's too old to be in the industry and get the same opportunities as her younger counterparts, despite the fact that she's worked in the industry ever since she was 13. In light of this, fans were furious with the fact that the company did nothing to protect her against all this online harassment, which is why they sent protest trucks in front of SM's building. They complained that they were doing nothing to protect Boa's career, especially since they were calling themselves her family. The fans also said that the company wasn't taking any action towards the hate comments that Boa had been dealing with for the 24 years of her career, calling them out to defend her. The company didn't respond to these requests right away, but Boa did by deleting all her posts on Instagram, which worried netizens. It was only then that the company released an official statement to address all the hate. They said that they were aware of all the false rumors, malicious attacks, and the slander that Boa was dealing with, and they were preparing lawsuits that would hit netizens in Korea and overseas. They also said that they have gathered evidence and will continue with these actions so the netizens responsible for the malicious posts can be held accountable for their actions. SM also informed that due to these recent events, Boa was having a hard time physically and mentally, which is why they would show no leniency towards the attackers. Despite the company's response, fans still weren't happy. They found holes in SM's statement, such as their purpose to target individuals in Korea and overseas. While they can definitely do it in Korea, defamation laws in other countries are different, and in most cases, the accusations won't even be taken seriously by the court. Others pointed out that this was your typical template statement by SM, and it didn't seem very promising, as it literally showed that they weren't putting any effort in this. A fan of BOA wrote, The overused template. How many statements have you released exactly like like this. This only proves that you have done nothing all this time. We could only hope that Boa leaves social media for a while, just for her own well-being. She really doesn't need to see all the comments that are being made about her, especially since she's in a bad state at the moment. In other shocking news, Espa's winter has had surgery for a collapsed lung recently and is currently in recovery. On April 12th, 10 Asia released an exclusive report saying that winter had undergone surgery for pneumothorax, or a collapsed lung, the day before. When you have a collapsed lung, it means that air seeps into the space between your lung and chest wall. This air pressure pushes against the lung and can make it partially or completely collapse. The sudden update has made fans really worried about how SM Entertainment is going to handle her recovery. The surgery for a collapsed lung requires the patient to be hospitalized for two to three days after the surgery and then a recovery period of up to two months. If it was any other company, fans would have rested easy, knowing that the idol's health would have been the utmost priority. However, since it's SM and Espa have a scheduled comeback in May and a world tour in June, fans are worried that they're going to make Winter get back to work before she properly heals. In their statement, SM mentioned, her future schedules will be carried out, taking into account Winter's recovery as the top priority, but knowing their track record, that's hard to believe. We just hope that she recovers well and puts her health first, because it's what she needs at the moment. After Le Seraphim, Eyelet, and TXT were the next Hybe groups who got criticized over their live vocals. Just a month ago, Le Seraphim faced a lot of backlash for an encore performance, since netizens thought that their vocals weren't up to par. Eyelet faced the same criticism on April 2nd after they got their first win on a music show with their hit song Magnetic. The Korean members were praised for their singing, but the two Japanese members, especially Mocha, received a lot of backlash for wavy and unstable vocals during the encore performance. However, fans came to her defense, saying that she couldn't deliver the best performance at the time since she was crying after the group's first win. They also argued that the members had proven their vocal abilities through the survival show Are You Next? Next, where they were evaluated throughout the process. While this could be a bad performance in some people's eyes, you couldn't exactly judge their talents based on just this encore stage. The group then had their second encore performance after their second win, but this time they received a lot of compliments. The members also performed as they were singing, which showed that they had gotten more comfortable singing in front of people, and they also looked like they were having a lot of fun, which is what's important. However, other people thought that there was no improvement in the live vocals of the girls. Mocha once again got a lot of comments about how her vocals were unstable, no matter if she was crying or not. Eyelet weren't the only ones in hot waters, though. TXT also got a win for Deja Vu on M Countdown and, as expected, did an encore stage afterwards. Since TXT are known to be a group with good vocals, this encore fell short of the netizens' expectations. They called out the members for being off-key and not performing well. But some people explained that the group didn't perform well as they were in Japan the day before for the Asia Star Entertainer Awards 2024. They performed there and got some awards before 
were rushing back to Korea to perform at the M Countdown. Because of this, and because they performed just before the award announcement, fans argued that they weren't in their best condition. The negative comments got so much attention that even Yeon Joon noticed the backlash. In particular, a fan left a message on his Weverse, reassuring him that it was okay for him not to do well since he had gotten tired after traveling so much. Yeon Joon apologized in response, saying that he was very touched by the comments of the fans and said, These are all just excuses and I was bad. I'll be better when we have the chance to do it again. Moving on to Blackpink's Lisa, we have updates on her plans for the future. On April 11th, it was announced that she has signed with RCA Records to handle her activities. This collaboration is expected to help her reach more people with her unique style and charm as it's seen as a way to boost her career even more. At the same time, Loud, Lisa's agency, also announced the launch of a new website where fans can stay updated on Lisa's latest projects with RCA Records. The website aims to be a one-stop shop for news about Lisa's future plans under her new label. It's also being said that she will have a comeback soon if we were to judge by Lisa's own words. She said, Looking forward to showing the world everything we have been preparing. And to some people, it seems like she might have been preparing for a surprise performance at Coachella. While the lineup was announced back in January, Lisa has posted something on her Instagram story that might hint that she will join someone on stage. She took a picture of a note that RCA Records had attached to a gift they sent her, which read, We hope that you love this one-of-a-kind gift made just for you to keep you warm in the desert this weekend. Since Coachella is happening this weekend, and it's going to take place in a desert, fans have speculated that she might be performing. DJ Snake is part of the lineup, and since he and Lisa had a collab in the past, she might join him on stage for a surprise performance. And lastly, let's talk about YG Entertainment's media play regarding Baby Monster that seems to have no end. As we all know, Batter Up was the group's official debut before Ayan joined them and before the group released their first mini album. However, despite painting Batter Up as the group's debut a few months ago, the company is now claiming that Sheesh was the actual debut song of the group. YG promoted Batter Up as Baby Monster's debut everywhere, and it was also perceived as such by the public. But now, because Batter Up didn't do as well as YG expected, Sheesh is being presented as Baby Monster's official debut, and Batter Up is called a pre-release just because Ah Yan returned from her break. This doesn't make sense considering that they won rookie awards for their previous song, which they wouldn't be able to win if the song was indeed a pre-release release and not their debut. This didn't stop the agency from putting out a report saying, Baby Monster, the K-pop girl group debut that reached 100 million views the fastest, which has gotten netizens confused and rightfully angry. Not only was Sheesh not the debut song, but a site also revealed that 35 million of its views were promotional views while the other 65 million were real. A commenter said, If this is their official debut song, then YG needs to return the rookie award Baby Monster won last year. Another said, And most of those views are from ads. YG can try to media play as much as they want, but the reality is that the GP don't care about this group. It's kind of crazy that the company is acting like Batter Up doesn't exist just because it didn't live up to their expectations and is trying to convince everyone that Baby Monster has just debuted. They probably know that it's not working either, so we're curious to find out about their next marketing strategy because at this point what YG's doing is truly embarrassing.